Welcome, Digital Pionists. Today, we delve into an innovation poised to elevate your online experience, the ChatGPT plugins. Let's uncover its potential together. The ChatGPT plugin isn't just a tool, it is an extension of IE capacities within your digital workspace. Integrating seamlessly, it is designed to enhance and streamline your online interaction. So, as you can see, we are in the ChatGPT right now, and if you are using ChatGPT Plus, you will be able to see all of the features of GPT-4. As you can see, we have default, we have the browse, we have Bing, we have data analysis, we have the plugin, and we have also the tag that generates an image. So today, we are going to dig, dive inside the plugins to see what they do exactly. So let's start by clicking the plugins and uh, once you click the plugin as you can see you have no plugin uh, enabled so click on this and go to the plugin store that will bring you to the plugin store as you can see we have a lot of plugins and we have the most popular plugin here as you can see and the chat uh, make sure to bring you all the popular plugin so that you can use it uh -huh. and as you can see if you there is a new plugin uh, as you can see you have the button view here you can click on it and see the new plugin and also if you want to see and make some research about the, the plugin you already use once you can click on all here and uh, yeah and uh, search for a new plugin so let's start with the most popular so this one now it is IE PDF. I don't know exactly what he can do, but let's try it to see exactly what he can do. So click on it, install it, and once you install it, get back to the ChatGPT. And as you can see, you see that we already installed this plugin IE PDF. And to enable this, I just click the button here to anybody so i don't know exactly what he do but i'm gonna ask him a basic question can you tell me how you interact with pdf so this question it is to know what he do exactly about the pdf because i don't know so i'm gonna ask him to uh, explain me uh, what can do if I want to use this plugin and it generated me a quite a answer about uh, what I say uh, so what he do exactly that he summarized the PDF if you provide me a URL link to the PDF document I can generate a summary of highlights the key point from the document oh nice it is useful if you want a quick overview of what the document content without having the real true the entire content okay nice good so searching within the pdf you can also search uh, within the, the pdf if you have a specific question or topic you are interacting within a pdf document you can provide me with the url link to the pdf and the ask you your question so i can then perform semantic search within the document to find the relevant information and then provide you with a quotes and the page citation so in both cases i use the pdf plugin to interact with the pdf document this allow me to process the document and then provide you um, with the information you need so nice nice use but i don't know if i have to um, put my pdf in uh, my computer in my laptop or it have to be uh, in the network or in a specific drive like a google drive i don't know so i'm gonna ask him this question again so let's ask him the question about the link where the link of the the pdf have to be located so let's ask this question and we will we we are going to have the 
answer of this question. So this is the answer of the question. The PDF document you want me to interact with should be accessible online. So this is online. You cannot have a PDF in your laptop and uh, uh, using this plugin uh, to have a result, okay? To have an output. So you have to put uh, the PDF online. Just it has to be online. It means uh, uh, need to be host on the website or cloud storage platform that provides a direct QR link to the PDF file. So here are some common places where PDF might be located. The website, so you can locate it around the PDF inside your website, your cloud, cloud storage, online library or database, and government or uh, organization website. So government or organization website. So this is where you can uh, uh, place your, your PDF if you want to use this plugin. So this is an overview about it. So nice, nice. So let's also uh, check another plugin. So today we are going to do two plugins. We, used, we start with uh, the first one, who is the AI PDF. I think that it is uh, nice to use it. And I don't know about you. Can you let uh, your comment uh, inside the uh, uh, in this about this uh, this plugin if you like it if you don't like it so just interact with it and then let me know about what you think about this uh, plugin so the second plugin uh, as uh, we saw let's uh, remove this plugin now we can click on this go to the store and go to the popular and um, install this plugin and uh, see the second plugin i think that uh, the chat with the pdf is the same as this the first one as you can see the description, chat with everything from anti-PDF, book to Google Drive document just by providing the link. So this is the same as the first one. So we are going to spend a lot of time about this. So let's see, ask the code. So provide GitHub repository here and ask about any aspect of the code. So this is nice for programmer. If you're a programmer, if you're a developer, just Click on install of this plugin and let's see what it will bring us. So automatically he opened us a new page. As you can see, this is a new page. You have to enter our email at once and then start using it. So I'm not going to provide an email here. But if you if you want, you can go to the internet and ask about stamp mail. Yeah, use stamp email. Okay, click on it and we are going to generate a temp email here uh, click on it and uh, provide him a temp email let's see if it will work because some uh, website don't allow to, to, to use a temp email so uh, let's see click on it i'm not a robot okay wait a minute so that uh, we can uh, have our temp email okay 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 so let's copy this email and go here, click on here, and uh, uh, request the code, okay? He give us uh, to enter a specific uh, uh, code. So we, we receive the email, huh? we receive the email here, and we are going to uh, click the code that uh, we get from the website. Mm, just put it inside here and uh, click on verify and authorize we are going to authorize it and uh, yeah we are back to gpt okay so let's enable this plugin here uh so what it do what what happened what happened because we uh, uh what happened what happened so get back to this and install it one more time and see what will happen so he asked about to authorize again and authorize it uh, maybe because we are using uh, a temp email so uh, it's not going to be uh, uh, to, to, to work so, uh, so, uh, so we are not going to, to spend a lot of time about uh, this uh, this plugin so move on move on move on so go to the plugin store as well and click uh, another plugin so i think we go to the plugin Plugin store here. We are going to use this. I will do a specific, uh, a specific uh, tutorial about this uh, this plugin if you want to use it. So 
let take a look at this one run code in more than 30 different programming language oh wow interesting and let us worry about setting up the environment mm, nice okay so you can basically uh, with this plugin interact with 30 different programming language wow that is amazing so let's click on it and uh, see if uh, we can use it oh, automatically uh, it is enabled so i'm going to ask him the same question that i asked before for the AI uh, pdf so how can i use you how can i use you as pro grammar so let's see the results now as a programmer, you can use me in a similar way to assist with your coding project. Oh, nice! That is how can I help you? Code, example, and snippet. If you need example of snippet of code in specific programming language, I can provide them. Just let me know the language and the functionality you are looking for. Nice! Debugging, he can also help you debug algorithm design, learning resource, and best practice if you want, code review, design quotation, question, another question, a product idea, interview preparation, and uh, example concept. Oh, nice. I love it. So, I'm going to test this. I'm going to test this after. So, can you, can you provide me, I, I, I'm going to see, uh, uh, basically, can you Provide me uh, footer uh, that quote uh, that count count uh, half count uh, uh, when a user uh, click button. Okay, let's see as a programmer if you you are using the dart or footer. Uh, uh, language let's see wow 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 amazing interesting so as you know huh, this is uh, the basic when you start uh, your foot environment and the using that this is uh, the first uh, code that you have huh, right? if you generate your environment for the first time so this is the same that i asked him to, to generate and uh, uh, yeah it is nice nice so can we see a plugin that enable us to um uh, what can I say? Uh, to, uh, to, 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 to emulate our program. If you can, as a developer, can see this in this environment, that will be amazing. So, guys, uh, this is all. Today, we see uh, two kind of plugin. So, uh, we have the AI PDF, and uh, we don't necessarily need to dive in, inside to, to see the functionality of it, the functionality that it brings, but you can. I uh, just asked the question about uh, what he can do and uh, he will give you an idea about how you can use it. This is what we do. And also for the coding. So if you're a programmer, you want to use it. So there is a lot of plugins. As you say, there is a million of plugins. So today we just see two plugins. Okay. And uh, yeah, in the future, we are going to see on the next video, we are going to talk about uh, uh, all of that, them specifically. So let's stop here and uh, see you in the next video. Bye!